Good afternoon, good afternoon. Catherine Storing here. How are you doing today? Hey there. Good afternoon. I'm Catherine Storing. If you're watching on the replay, if you're watching live, or if you're watching from the comfort of your computer, thank you, thank you for coming in. Welcome. My name is Catherine Storing. Hey, Wilma. Hey, T1. Thank you for coming in. Hey, Sarita. Thank you for coming in. Uh, Paul Gibbot, baby. Thank you so much for coming in. My name is Catherine Storing. Um, hi. And this is my grateful scope. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for the awesome orange hearts. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Hey, Xavier Black. Thank you for coming in. I am in the Boston area. Would you let me know where you are? Um, and then we'll get started in just a minute. Um, oh, Sarita. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. I guess I could say Zarita. Uh, I, I, can't, I can't even say it. So that's how I say it. Richmond, Virginia. Oh, awesome. I'm in the Boston area right outside. And notice that I say Boston. I don't know how else to say it. <laughs> I am in the Boston area. Welcome on this beautiful, beautiful Sunday afternoon. Um, I haven't done my scopes like this in a while, so I'm really excited. And um, I started the celebrations already with Thanksgiving yesterday, and I'm gonna be having two other, two more Thanksgivings. And I'm like, you know what? Maybe I should talk about the things that I'm grateful, you know? And um, I'm glad I was going to do this this morning and then um, something came up and I couldn't and I'm glad that I didn't. So it's totally awesome. Thank you so much. Driving. You're driving. Okay. So be careful. <clears throat> That's good. Good girl. Good, good, good girl. Uh, Filippo taught one. Thank you for coming in. Good job, Wilma. Uh, not not um, typing as you're driving. Good. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Hi guys, my name is Catherine Storing and I usually scope about fashion and style, but today I'm not going to talk about that. Today I'm going to talk about what I'm grateful and I was getting ready this morning and um, something came up and I couldn't help. I started watching another scope and I'm glad that I waited until now. I was making my list of the things that I'm grateful for and all these things can come into my head. It was so awesome to realize that I have many things to be grateful for, many, many things to be grateful for. And I get to choose, like there's so many that I get to choose how many, you know, which one I'm, I wanna talk about. So if you're new to my scopes, uh, my name is Catherine Storing. I am a fashion stylist, a confidence building coach, and a woman of faith. And I usually share, I encourage people, I show my style, um, I show some outfits, and I try to encourage people. But today I decided, you know what, I am gonna do a more serious scope. I'm gonna do a scope that is, I think, more real. Thank you, Sarita. And I'm just wanna be myself, 110%. No pretense, no show. I'm not gonna be like the speaker. I'm just gonna be Catherine today and tell you what I'm grateful for. And I just got back from church and it was just awesome. It was so, so awesome. And I'm glad that I waited until now to share because to be honest, I have something to share and I haven't been here as much uh, for a while because I have been sick. I've been getting uh, two head calls like back to back and I'm like, what is going on? Why am I keep, why do I keep getting sick? And I haven't been feeling well, okay? I have been kind of down. I've been preoccupied and busier than ever. I'm like, what is going on? Why am I so busy? Why are things are not happening as fast as I would like them to be, okay? And maybe someone watching now or watching on the replay can relate to this. You want something really, really badly and nothing happens. You might want something more than life itself and it's not happening. It's taking a very, very long time and it's not happening. So I don't know if anybody can relate to that. You you have your heart set on something <clears throat> and for some reason, it's not happening. It can be very frustrating. We don't live in a microwave society. Thank you, Sarita. Yeah, and unfortunately, that was my mentality and I just have to own up to that and say that I wanted something to happen for a very long time and I want it to happen now and why isn't it happening and I was obsessing about that that was the only thing that I can eat and breathe and thinking about it that's all I wanted that's all I wanted and nothing else mattered I had no time for anything else in the meantime all around me were all these amazing blessings all these amazing miracles taking place 
and I was missing it because I was concentrating <clears throat> on one thing, one thing only. Let me drink some lemon water here. So that's what I was doing. I was concentrating on the one thing that wasn't going right. The one thing. I live an amazing, blessed life, okay? I'm not bragging. I'm saying I am healthy. I have a place to live. I have a car. I have my phone that I love. I, I even, even named my phone James. That's how much I love my iPhone 6. I have my MacBook Pro. My daughter is healthy. My family is healthy. Everybody's okay. I know what I want to do. Like, I know what I want to do. Just right there. I can stop right there and say, I know what my calling is. Do you know how many people don't know what they want to do? They are millions of people that have no idea what they want to do they have no clue they have no clue and they would give anything to know what they want to do and guys i don't have to wonder i know like i know that i know that i know what i want to do and it hasn't happened as fast as i want to i want to be doing this full time i want to be doing this all the time i want to be styling people in a, in and out Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny, Sarita. And it hasn't happened yet, okay? It hasn't happened, and I was so frustrated, and I was so ungrateful and thinking, why hasn't that happened yet? I want it to happen now. Why can't it happen? And I was trying to make it happen on my own time, on Catherine's time. I want it to happen now because I say so and because I want it, and if I want it, it has to happen now. <clears throat> And even telling you that is kind of embarrassing, but I just figured that I decided that I was gonna do this, so I'm doing it anyway. Um, so I'm I was missing out on all this, all these amazing blessings, all these amazing opportunities all around me. And at the same time, I'm still speaking, I'm traveling to different places, and things were not happening as I wanted them, but I'm still get to do what I want to do, maybe not at the capacity that I want to do it, but those things were happening anyway, okay. And I'm still get, being blessed. I'm still so, seeing, seeing people around me being blessed and blessing me and loving on me and me loving on them. And I still was missing that. I was not owning that I wanted things to happen now, right now. And today I realized, like, what's holding me back from doing what I want to do? Other than me making this the biggest thing, the all be all of my life. My whole life is just this one thing. When in reality, my life is in 3D. I have all these things happening, okay? All these things, and I am super blessed. And I made that like my idol. I made that like the one thing that has to happen and nothing else will make me happy. When in reality, I am already happy. I am already free to do what I want to do as long as I don't make that one thing what's going to make me happy. And I don't know if anybody else can relate. Can you relate to wanting something so badly? Hey, Lema, thank you for coming in. Wanting something so badly that you don't see the other blessings in your life. Maybe somebody else can relate to that. Maybe you watching uh, on the replay or watching live, watching on your computer. Can somebody relate to wanting something so badly that you let go of everything else. You just want this one thing and all the blessings, all the awesome stuff around you makes no sense. I just want I just want this one thing. And that is very short-sighted because once I started to write all the things that I'm grateful for for and I am great I have I have so many things to be grateful for, I realized that I was being selfish because I want this one thing to happen now. I want to be able to do this full time. I want to travel, I want to speak, and I want to help people and I'm like, okay, so what stops me from helping people right now? If that's really what I want to do, if I really say that I want to help people and I want to inspire people and I want to show them how beautiful they are from the inside out, then what stops me? What stops me, right? Nothing stops me other than my selfishness uh, saying that I want it to happen a certain way. I want it to happen a certain way and nothing else. Thank you, Lema, for sharing uh, with your followers. If you guys think that somebody else can benefit from that, click on the little man and swipe left to right or up if you have an Android device and share with your friends. Thank you, my sister. I so appreciate that. And today I was just really like walking up and realized that I'm blessed and realized that if I want to help people, I get to. 
And I don't, it doesn't have to be in a very specific way. It can be in any way that I get to until I get to do it the way that I want. Does that make sense? I want to share my gifts and my gifts are not about me. My gifts are about other people. And if my gifts are about other people, then I should share them no matter what, even if I don't get to do it full time, even if I don't get to do it from um, another, another country or another state, I still get to do it. And that was just so freeing to realize I still get to do it. Thank you, Sarita. I still get to do it. I still get to be of value. I still get to be happy. That's the other thing. I'm ha I can be happy right now. I can choose to be happy right now. So I want to ask you a favor. I want to ask you to choose to be happy right now. Choose to be grateful at this moment, right now, exactly where you are. Choose to be grateful. Right now, I'm choosing to be happy. I'm choosing to be grateful exactly at where I am right now. No matter what happens, if nothing changes, if nothing changes at all, I'm choosing to be happy. And that is so freeing. That is so free. And hopefully somebody else wants to take that challenge with me. Do you want to take that challenge and say, right now, where I am, I'm choosing to be happy. I'm choosing to be grateful right now. Even if my circumstances don't change, even if I don't get what I want right now with everything that I have, I'm grateful. I'm happy right now, right in this moment, I get to be happy. I get to be grateful because I get to decide that. I decide if I'm happy or unhappy. And right now I'm deciding that I'm happy, that I am grateful and I have a less of so many things that I'm grateful for, but the first, but the first thing that I want to do is allow myself to say, Catherine, you're happy. Catherine, be grateful for all the things that you have. <clears throat> and I'm already getting better. I'm already feeling better, but it took that for me to realize that I was not being as grateful as I could be. And maybe there's someone watching the replay right now. Maybe there's someone watching right now on their computer or watching right now on Periscope asking themselves, what's getting in the way for me to be happy right now? Like right this second, if I have to wait until everything is perfect, if I have to wait until everything is perfect, guess what? You might never be happy. If you're going to wait until everything is completely, absolutely, positively perfect, you may never be happy. And that will be such a waste. That would be such a waste. And that's exactly what I realized for myself. I was wasting all this time, all the blessings that I have in my life right now, right this second. And that ends today. Not tomorrow. I'm not going to go and say tomorrow I'll make changes. Tomorrow I'll be happy. Tomorrow when things change. Tomorrow when I get to do this full time. Tomorrow when I get to go to Australia for my birthday and share uh, why I do what I do. Not tomorrow. Not later. Not three months from now. Not six months from now. Not a year from now. Right now on November 22nd, 2015, at 2.27 p.m. Eastern Time, Catherine Storing is happy and grateful right now. Right now. Nothing has changed. I haven't gotten into, you know, I didn't come to a lot of money. My life hasn't changed. Everything is exactly the same, but I am different. I am choosing to be different. And I wanted to say it here because I wanted to have the accountability. Thank you, Sarita. I wanted to be honest and say, you know what? I haven't been as grateful as I could be. I haven't probably been as present as I could be because I haven't preoccupied with me. I want this thing and it's not happening yet. Who is me? You know, when in reality, I have all these things to be thankful for. And I actually made a list in... I couldn't even finish because all these thoughts keep coming into my head and I realized, wow, you are really blessed. You have nothing to complain about. You have nothing to complain about. And I know that's a lot, that's a big thing to say, but in reality, when we think about it, we have a lot to be thankful for, like a lot to be thankful for. So many people don't have even a quarter of what we have and they don't complain. They're like even joyful. They are even joyful and we are blessed. We have so much and we don't even get to realize. Just the fact that I have choices for the things that I want to wear, okay? The things that I, that, I, that I want, 
I, I have a lot. Like I have choices in how, what shoes I'm going to wear. Uh, what jewelry I get to wear, how I'm going to wear my hair. Like I get to color my hair whenever I want. That's huge. You know, people have would love to be able to even like take a warm shower, shower. I take warm showers whenever I want. Like I turn on that water and warm water comes out every single time. Every single time. I don't have to pray about it. I don't have to wait for it. Warm water comes out. There are countries that don't have even running water not even running or even clean water and i get to have warm water every day no matter what i have warm water every single day and i know that might be trivial but if you ever have lived in a place that doesn't have that <clears throat> or you have been exposed to that that's right thank god indeed um you realize that 